The first hidden feature of Vassal V0 is design mode. It's a surprisingly useful feature that enables you to make live edits to any element. You just toggle into design mode, select the element you want to edit, and you can tweak styles or make copy changes instantly. The best part is that these style tweaks are completely free. They don't consume any of your Vassal V0 credits, and it's a great way to make small changes to your application much better than alternatives that charge you per edit or force you to rebuild everything from scratch. Now in this video, we're gonna cover 14 more features that make Vassal V0 incredibly powerful. And at the end, I'll give you my verdict on who should use V0 and who's better off using other AI coding tools like maybe Cursor or Replit. So stick around to see where you fall. But first, I'm Aftar, and if you're new to AI coding tools or looking to build your next idea, you're in the right place. Welcome to the channel and make sure to subscribe for more AI coding videos. Let's get on with the video. Feature two is the one-click deploy to Vercel. This is a, probably the most useful feature of V0 in my opinion. You just hit the publish button and V0 builds your app, deploys it, and gives you all the things that you need to have a production application accessible by other people on the internet. This means you can instantly share projects with friends and family or validate an idea and start getting real user traffic within hours of conception. Feature three is AI prompt enhancement. When you're starting a new project and you type something basic like dashboard with login, V0 automatically rewrites that into a detailed spec that would take your application to the next level when you hit this prompt enhancement button. This is especially powerful for beginners and people who have the vision for what they wanna build, but they may not have the technical vocabulary to express it properly or in a way that the LLM can then take that and build a functioning application. So this bridges that gap. It's kind of like having an AI product manager that catches all your edge cases and gives you a better output. But let's talk about the core interaction that makes V0 special. This isn't just another AI coding tool. When you're using V0, you're essentially chatting with an AI that's specifically trained on modern web development stacks. And this is feature number four, something I call the framework aware core of Vassal V0. This means that when you type something like build me an e-commerce dashboard with user profiles and payment integrations, V0 scaffolds a complete application using modern technologies that are optimized for the web today. Things like Next.js, Tailwind, Shared CN, and it gives you a project that actually compiles with these technologies on the first try. And this is unlike generic LLMs that may do things like hallucinating imports, V0 knows these modern frameworks intimately. This means that your app will be fast, auto-responsive, and work on different screen sizes and be ready for use, all with less effort from your side. Feature five is what makes V0 perfect for non-developers or people who are learning how to code. It's the ultimate visual editor. As you type things and as you make requests to the V0 agent, you can see your changes in real time. And I think this makes V0 especially well-suited if you're building things like a personal website, maybe a website for your business, a landing page for a product, or a general information or marketing site, or other kinds of static sites, I think it's perfect for those kinds of situations. And I honestly think it'll help a lot of people, because this is 90% of web tasks today. People want to have a website, you want to put information out on the internet, and it also enables you to do it in a really customizable way. And so that's a game-changing feature for me. Feature six is code visibility. Something I really appreciate about V0 is that it shows you the actual code. And I think it's a perfect middle ground between tools like Cursor that are obviously pure code. It's an IDE or something like Claude code and UI only application builders as many no code application builders out there. I find these things really hide everything from you and you don't really know what's going on in the background. And I think if you're someone like me that wants to look under the hood or if you're trying to learn how to code and want to see the code under the hood and how it's implemented, I think this is really powerful. And personally, I find it useful for things like checking on a database schema or to see if the database interactions are implemented correctly. So code visibility is super important and that's feature number six in V0. Feature seven is something you might not realize, which is that V0 is exceptionally good at following instructions and prompts. 
You can ask it questions. It'll give you ideas, suggest improvements, or explain implementation details. It doesn't just take action on every request, kind of like a coworker or co-builder that can actually talk you through and brainstorm in addition to actually building things and making changes in your application. Feature eight is built-in version control. Every single V0 change is automatically versioned and you can roll back to previous states instantly using the V0 UI dropdown. This eliminates a lot of anxiety because as you're vibe coding, as you're coding with AI, you're experimenting, you're making changes. You might find that you liked the version of the application that you had 15 minutes ago and the current part that you're down doesn't quite make sense. And so you want to revert. And I think this built-in version control is super powerful, mainly because if you're new to coding, it doesn't require you to learn Git, which let's face it, even for developers and technical folks, Git can be a bit scary. And so V0 lets you restore changes and move between different versions straight from the chat and straight from the UI, which I think is super useful. But if you do want that developer-friendly version control with Git, V0 automatically syncs with GitHub thanks to its GitHub integration. One click allows you to create a repo in GitHub or connect to an existing one. So it's super easy to set up and something I'd strongly recommend if you're serious about building with V0. GitHub integration allows you to vibe code with the added protection and safety of things like branching, commits, and, and even later on in your journey, human code review workflows. I think this is really awesome for experimentation and building more complex applications or trying different approaches or different designs of the same page. So definitely try out this GitHub integration. Feature 10 is huge for building real world applications and that's database integrations. You can natively provision and connect a database to your V0 projects right inside V0. You don't have to leave V0. You don't have to go and set up the database on another website. V0 actually supports many database providers, including Postgres and popular providers like Superbase. And the big advantage of using this database integration is that once you've set it up, V0 can actually interact with and run queries against your database without any manual configuration. Because when you set it up, that information gets added as environment variables to your V0 project. This removes like 80% of the infrastructure headache when it comes to connecting different infra providers. And so it's a really great feature and something I'd recommend you take advantage of if you're new to databases or just want an easy way to get started building an application. Feature 11 is secure API key management. This is something I really like about Vassal. They build in security from the start. And so this feature allows you to store API keys in project settings and reference them in prompts. For example, you can hook up OpenAI or Anthropic API keys and let V0 build AI features in your application. Or you can hook up your Stripe API keys and let V0 scaffold payment endpoints without any security concerns and with a bit more peace of mind. Also for beginners, this is a really good introduction to environment variables and how they work in the Vassal platform. This is a great way to get used to some of these patterns that you might not have seen before. Number 12 is something that you find in other applications today, but I still think it's straight up magic. And that's screenshot to app. You can drag and drop any image or drawing and V0 will recreate the entire layout in working code. This is super useful for things like cloning the aesthetic of your favorite application or turning designs from your team into real working code in just a few minutes rather than a few days or few weeks. Coming in at number 13, when you're done building, V0 makes it incredibly easy to export your work. You can get a GitHub link, you can download the code files directly, or even import the components into an existing shared CN project. The last one never really works for me. I wouldn't recommend that trying that first, but if it's something you're used to, that's an option, but I'd probably stick with the GitHub integration or downloading the code files and then asking someone like Claude or Cursor to refactor them for you into your application. Now, number 14 is great when you're short on inspiration or just want to get an idea to learn more about the platform and you don't have an idea yet. That's starter templates. V0 comes with starter templates for specific tech stacks. Whether you're building a SaaS dashboard, an e-commerce site, or a blog, there are a lot of pre-built templates that give you a head start if you're looking for inspiration or, again, just want to learn how V0 works and try out different capabilities. And finally, number 15, 
V0 makes it incredibly easy to build AI-powered applications with built-in support for Vassal's AI SDK and AI gateway integrations. This means that you can scaffold entire AI applications with things like chat interfaces, image generation, or text processing in minutes using Vassal's frameworks that work really well with Next.js applications, which is surprise, surprise, what you're going to get with V0. And it gets you more integrated into the Vassal ecosystem, which is becoming richer and more featureful every year. So it's a great introduction if you know you want to stick with Vassal and what they're building. So that completes our 15 must-know features and tips for getting the most out of Vassal V0. But I want to end this video by talking about who should actually use V0 and who's better off using other AI coding tools. I think this is important because, you know, V0 is great. It's got a lot of great features, but we all have limited time and we want to make the best investment into learning tools that are actually suited for the stage that we're at and for our level of technical knowledge and that meet the goals that we want to achieve when it comes to building with AI coding tools. So let's start with developers or technical folks. If you're a developer, I think Vassal V0 is fantastic for front ends and simple static sites, but it's probably not as comprehensive as using IDs, things like Cursor or Windsurf or Claude Code uh, to build real full stack dynamic applications. If you're a developer, I'd actually recommend Learn V0 if you think it's interesting, but you, you're probably better off sticking with these other coding tools. You're going to get a lot more flexibility and a lot more power from them. If you're not a developer or just learning to code, I think V0 is an incredible gateway to getting into more advanced coding and what it takes to build and deploy real applications on the internet today. I also think V0 is a gateway into the Vassal ecosystem and honestly into learning how modern web development works in the first place. So if you're an aspiring developer and want to quickly learn how to build modern websites, V0 is a great tool to invest in and something that's going to pay dividends because it's going to allow you to learn best practices and leverage your skills and also leverage your ideas with the power of AI. I also think that if you come from a design background, V0 is also worth learning. It's got great features, like I mentioned, design mode, as well as they have a Figma integration, which I didn't cover in this video, but that's also something that's important. And this allows it to work really well and feel native to design workflows. That's just my opinion. Let me know in the comments what you think about V0 and whether you think it's going to be useful for your AI coding and applications that you're trying to build. Now it's time to build. If this video helped you learn something new, or if you have any questions, leave a comment and I'll see you in the next one.